Hello, garden lovers. Today we're going to do another garden tour. Some blooms weren't out uh, last time I did a done a video, so uh, this is uh, this is another video to show you some flowers that are in bloom. This rose is called perennial blue, and it is such a vigorous, floriferous rose. Beautiful, beautiful purple magenta colour. And uh, it's just covered in clusters and clusters of bloom. Very, very big, very healthy. And next to that we have this uh, Amelanchia. It's a small tree, I love it. In the springtime it has its uh, little flowers, followed by these berries. The birds love it too. We have some Astrantias and a Geranium Roseanne. Soon we're going to have some Daylilies too. And we have this here, Rose, um, Madame Isaac Perrier. We have the Darcy Bussel. Ah, oh, true old British weather. It started to rain during my video. I think I have to pause for a bit here. Oh, before I go, I'm going to show you the very beautiful Leonardo da Vinci. Okay, the rain had just passed. So uh, we're back onto the garden tour now. This is Rose Compassion. It's very beautiful. Soft coral, pinky color. It's a climber, very vigorous. We have uh, Astromeria Indian Summer. And uh, this is Sweet Honey. Hot chocolate. Here I have some uh, Cordes's, Cordes roses. This is uh, lovely Parfuma, also known as Summer Romance. Uh, this is a Secret Parfuma, also known as Earth Angel. I have some blooms, but they're over now. Uh, they should start flushing again in the next couple of months. This is a uh, Timeless Purple. It's a beautiful colour, very, very strong. The Timeless Collection is a very strong rose. This is uh, Timeless Charisma. And I often look at uh, catalogues and online. I could never really tell the difference in the, in the blooms. Now that I've got them both together, you can see that they're very different, but online it's very, not a lot of difference. So here, that's the uh, Charisma, and this is the purple. So you can definitely see the two different roses there. But the growth habit is very strong from this Timeless collection. Uh, I'm going to show you the other two that I have. This is the Timeless Cream. It has a smaller bloom. Uh, they say it's cream, but I don't think it's very cream. I think it's more on the soft yellowy apricot colour. Uh, unfortunately, it doesn't quite sit in well with this colour scheme that I have. I prefer this colour to go with um, yellow or white. Uh, so I shall be moving that to uh, another place in autumn. But that is the Timeless Cream. So this is the Timeless Pink. I have a bud, but it's quite crowded in this area. Uh, it's not yet in flower, but I'm sure it would look equally as beautiful as the other Timeless in its collection. The leaves are super, super healthy. Very, 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 very glossy. Here I have growing in a pot. 
one of my recent purchases last year. This is Eden Rose 88, also known as Pierre de Ronsard. It's a beautiful, beautiful bloom. One of the prettiest I've ever seen, in fact. Frilly flowers, frilly petals, and uh, very pale on the outside. Pink working through the center. Really, really nice. I can see why it's such a popular rose. Very famous. Very, very heavy, heavy blooms, which makes the uh, flowers droop a little. But definitely one of the prettiest roses I've ever seen. It's a climber. But right now, my plant is actually quite uh, still young. Beautiful. This is the award winning Rose Joie de Vivre. Very, very beautiful. Compact rose. I can see why it wins awards. Very compact, disease resistant. And uh, let me just smell if it has fragrance. Yep. Medium fragrance, I think. Medium light. Quite sweet. I was going to do this video mostly based on uh, non David Austin roses, but because this is blooming so lovely today, that I had to show you. I think it's performed the best it's ever done for me. It's been here about three years. And this is Shropshire Lad. It's a climber. It's beautiful. Soft orange buds opening to pink, a warm pink. So they are quite different, the buds to its uh, mature flower. Here we have two very healthy roses in, uh, in its prime. The one at the back is Dance de Faux, French for Dance of Fire. In the foreground, we have the very fragrant St. Ethelberger, being beautiful as well as fragrant, very fragrant. Uh, I would say it's in line with the with Gertrude Jekyll in the David Austin range, which is renowned for its fragrance. This is a very beautiful rose, St. Ethelberger. I do highly recommend it. We have here a very old variety of David Austin. It is called Sharifa Asthma. This was planted by, uh, by the previous owner uh, of the house that I bought. And uh, I've moved this rose to my new house, which is about four years ago. And it's very beautiful and very fragrant. A lot of similar roses um, that look like this, almost like Strawberry Hill and Olivia Austin, similar to those. Here we have one of my wilder borders. This is again, I have this dotted around around the garden. This is a geranium Roseanne, and it's almost hiding a yellow daylily. This plant, I do recommend it. It's very healthy and very easy to grow and it really fills a space very quickly along with the Nopita Walker's Low. It fills a space very well. Uh, this is uh, Salvia. Nice blue, 
contrast with the David Austin Country Parsons, a pale yellow, dainty yellow. Looks almost like a wild rose. It looks very, very robust, very thorny, and it looks like it's able to take care of itself very well. Beautiful. Yellow and purple, always a good combination. This opium poppy had self-sown itself. It's huge. It's just self-sown itself along the path. Very, very heavy, full blooms. And then you're left with this uh, seed head later on in the season. Wow, amazing. You can see there's some smaller ones here. With these opium poppies, you never really know what color you're gonna get. I've got some that are purple, uh, orange, peachy orange, lots of different colors. Another self-sown opium poppy in the lilac-y purple. And another one here. Very beautiful. Love the seed heads. They're just everywhere. This is a standard that I've made myself from a very old rose and I trained it into a standard. Uh, I'm still in the process of making the head a little bit uh, more tidier. This, I believe, is Shandos Beauty. Really, really beautiful rose. Very delicate pink. Very big flowers. You see how big the flower is in my hand. Really very pretty. So this is Shandos Beauty. From the very big to the very small, this is a little white pet. Very, very pretty. Little, uh, little cute flowers, pink buds opening to creamy pink. And again, another opium poppy decided to make this its home next to the lovely lupins and the peonies, geraniums. Here I have this uh, wild area where I put all the plants that uh, I don't know what to do with that are very vigorous. This poppy again has self-seeded itself amongst all this wild growth. Achillea, lamb's ears and geraniums. So it's actually become quite pretty. So this is the, uh, the wild area 